638 Jefferson. Every day crime is present in this city. And I know that you know it is continuing to escalate. Just this weekend alone, we had 15 individuals that were shot. 15, a city this size. We had one officer that was assaulted, went to a party for Father's Day, large crowd, and he was actually assaulted. On last night, if you didn't know, there was a police officer who was driving in the area of the Pepper Tree Apartments. His vehicle was shot up right here in the city of Memphis. I will tell you that I hate coming down to this council because I almost feel like I'm begging. I grew up in this area, was educated in the city of Memphis, always wanted to do the right thing. Everybody always said, be an upstanding citizen, be a good man. Went to the military, served my country, could have lived anywhere in the world, but I wanted to come home. Joined the police department because I wanted to serve my community. I remember when being a police officer was, a, was an honor. You're reducing police officers in this city to begging to do the right thing. You have individuals that have given 30, 40 years of their lives, and I know you're tired of hearing these sob stories because I'm tired of telling them. And they're leaving, and they can't even have health care after they've been shot stabbed, facing the most horrific situations that you could even imagine. And you can do it without even a second thought. I heard Councilwoman Fully Love say that Siegel has offered options. You don't even want to explore the options. I hear this council talk about all the negative about what you can't do. I'll be glad when this city elect individuals that can do. And then you talk about everything I heard that was talked about economic. We want to set up a zone so that we don't have building and, and we want to approve money for this and money for that. There's nothing wrong with economic development. Let me tell you. But at some point, you got to invest in the citizens. You got to invest in the services that you provide to the citizens. I am one of those citizens. You, you, you talk about police officers not living in the city. I chose to live in this city. The other night, I laid in my bed and heard 42 gunshots. That's my reality. It makes me want to move out to Arlington, to Carrierville, but I want to stay. But for some reason, my elected officials don't feel that it's important for public safety. You had a mob jumping on cars in Cordova. I mean, crime is out of control. We have police officers that won't even work overtime because they're overworked, they're overstressed. A new trend that I'm starting to see is officers with 25 years on. There's something else you're going to start to see. Remember, I always tell you first, they're not getting in the drop plan. You know why? Because they know at the end of 2015 they won't have insurance. So they're young enough to retire, and they're going out seeking other employment that provides insurance. 
So that means you're losing the experience base. You're losing those individuals that have the ability to hold it all together. And Ms. Godwin talked about the tsunami. It's coming. I mean, if you want to consolidate, consolidate. But don't do it at the expense of the police officers, the firemen, the dispatchers, the painters, the plumbers, the machinists. You want us to work hard for this city. We represent you. But we want you to do the same. And I hope we're not just going through a process. If, in fact, you vote no for the police today, I want each and every one of you to know that you're voting no for the citizens of this city. And it will be loud and resounding. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Karen.